What's going on guys? Welcome to Inside the Horseshoe. My name is Matt and tomorrow is game day as the Indianapolis Colts travel to Vegas to take on the Raiders and what should be a pretty interesting game for sure. In today's video, I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on the game, my keys to victory, and then at the end of the video, I will give you a prediction on who I believe is going to win and why. But before I do that, if you're new or if you haven't already, I would greatly appreciate if you would click that subscribe button. Also, click the bell icon so you're notified when I upload a video or when I go live. If you like this video, smack that like button. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Who wins the game and why? Let me know in the comments. And if you have a Twitter, make sure you follow me on Twitter at horseshoe underscore pod. There is a link in the description down below. So this should be a pretty interesting game for sure, right? Because... This is going to be Jeff Saturday's first game as interim head coach. And he's never coached. Outside of high school, he's never coached in college. He's never coached in NFL. He was never an assistant coach, a coordinator, or a head coach. This is his first time ever coaching in an NFL game or a college game. So it's going to be interesting to see what he does in certain situations, right? Like on third and shorts, fourth and inches. It's just going to be very interesting. Now, I love... Everything that he said in his press conferences and interviews so far, I, I really have loved everything he said in those things. And he is clearly bringing the energy that these players are going to feed off of. But when it comes to actually coaching a game and, you know, just being in certain situations, it's going to be interesting to see what he does there because he has the energy. There, there's no doubt about it. He has the energy. But when it comes to actually coaching, I have no clue what's going to happen, so that's going to be pretty interesting, and obviously, Josh McDaniels going up against the Colts, right? He was supposed to be the head coach for the Colts back in 2018, but as he was heading to Indy, he turned that little jet around and went back to New England to be the offensive coordinator, so... It's the first time the Colts are going up against Josh McDaniels as a head coach, so that's going to be pretty interesting there. These are also two teams that are not in the situation we all thought they were going to be in, right? You have the Raiders, who are 2-6. and six. You have the Colts, who are 3-5-1. and one. Before the season started, we thought these were playoff teams, but it doesn't look like they're going to be, so it's definitely going to be an interesting game. With that being said, though, let's get into my keys to victory. Let's start with the offense, as we always do. First up, we're going to talk about the quarterback situation, right? Sam Allinger, you got to do a better job finding open receivers, right? You have to find those guys. And trust me, there's receivers that are getting open, and Sam just hasn't seen them. So he's got to do a better job when it comes to that. And I think that's something he can improve on, but he's got to find those guys when they're open. And hopefully he does. Also, Take better care of the football. You know, and he's done a pretty good job taking care of the football. But last week, he did lose the ball once. I believe they did get it back, but still, he did lose the ball once. And then, obviously, he threw the pick six. So, got to do a better job when it comes to that. And then just, you know, take what the defense gives you. That's another thing that I would like to see Sam do. Also, we need Jonathan Taylor to step up and have a big game today. I want to see Jonathan Taylor have a game similar to what he did last year when he was dominating in the NFL. We're going to need him to do that. You know, it's going to help Sam a lot if he does that. So Jonathan Taylor needs to have a big game. He's got to take advantage of some of the opportunities that he could be given in this game. Zach Moss, when he's in, same thing. He's got to be effective. He's got to go out there and do a good job running the football. So the run game has to be effective in a positive way. Gash this defense when you're running the football. That's what I want to see personally. And lastly, when it comes to the offense, the offensive line, they have to do a better job protecting Sam Ellinger and opening up holes for a run game. They need to give our guys opportunities to do the things that they're supposed to do. Okay, last week was one of the most pathetic, awful performances I've ever seen from an offensive line. It was brutal what they did last week. Nine sacks allowed. Nine sacks. I don't care who you go up against. That is pathetic to allow nine sacks in the NFL. They're going up against a pretty good defensive line, right? You got to go up against guys like Max Crosby, who's having a really good year, and Chandler Jones. It's a good defensive line you're going up against. So this offensive line, they got to step up, man, because if they play like they did last week, it's going to be similar results. I don't care who's the quarterback. 
they're going to get wrecked. All right, so now let's move on to the defense. And first off with the defense, get pressure on Derek Carr. I say it every single week, get pressure on a quarterback, but it's true. Get pressure on Derek Carr, man, okay? Force him to throw the ball too early. Force him to make a mistake. Force him to throw it out of bounds. Hit him. Do whatever you can. Get pressure on him. Get in his head, okay? That's what I need this defensive line to do. And look, Darren Waller, he's on IR. Hunter Renfro, he's on IR. So it's not like Derek Carr is going to have all these weapons. He'll have Devontae Adams. Of course he will. And Devontae Adams is a really good receiver. But if you get pressure on him, it's going to make his life really, really miserable. So please get pressure on Derek Carr. That's what I need to see. Also, cannot let Josh Jacobs run on you. Okay, Josh Jacobs is a good running back, man. He's a really nice running back. I like Josh Jacobs quite a bit. So he's very capable, I believe, of getting 120 yards on you in a game rushing. So do not let him go off. Grover Stewart's going to need to step up and do what he's done every single week and not allow the run game to get going. Because if you can limit what Josh Jacobs, I believe Kenyon Drake is on the Raiders too. If you can limit what those guys do in that entire run game, then you make Derek Carr's job a lot more difficult because they can't rely on play action. You're going to force them in third and long where it's going to clearly be passed. So... Take the run game out of it, because if you do that, you're going to take this offense out completely. So, got to take care of Josh Jacobs and the rest of this run game. And then, obviously, don't let Devontae Adams go off. Okay, the Raiders, they have some other receivers, of course. But, you know, you don't have to worry about Darren Waller. You don't have to worry about Hunter Renfro. All you really have to worry about in this game is Devontae Adams. So, don't let him go off. Okay, contain him. He's going to get some yards. It's Devontae Adams. He's going to do his thing. But don't let him go for like 100 yards and a couple touchdowns like he has before. Just do a good job. Stephon Gilmore, I have full faith that he's going to be able to contain Devontae Adams. If you can take him out of the game, then this pass game is pretty much gone. All right, it's prediction time, guys. So this is a tough game to predict. I could see it going either way in all honesty, but I'm going to go with the Raiders. The reason why I'm going to go with the Raiders is because I have no clue what to expect from Jeff Saturday. I don't know how good he's going to do as head coach. He might be great, and if he's great, the Colts are going to win this game easily. If he's not good, the Colts, I don't think they're going to win. So I, I really don't know what to expect. Colts obviously have a lot of issues. I don't think Jeff Saturday can fix the offensive line this quick. So... I'm going to go with the Raiders. Give me a final score. I'm going to go 24 to 14 Raiders. Now, I know that seems like a lot, but again, first time head coach with Jeff Saturday. I don't think he's going to fix the offense in a week. I think it's going to take a while before it gets fixed, if it's going to get fixed. So I'm going to go with the Raiders. Like I said, 24 to 14. And that's going to do it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're new or if you haven't already, I would greatly appreciate if you would click that subscribe button. Also, click the bell icon so you're notified when I upload a video or when I go live. If you like this video, smack the like button. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Who wins the game and why? Let me know in the comments. And if you have a Twitter, make sure you follow me on Twitter at horseshoe underscore pod. There is a link in the description down below. So thank you very much for watching. I've been Matt. Bleed Balloon. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like it, make sure you watch one of these other two videos. They're cool. Also, if you're new, please click the subscribe button as well as the bell icon. I greatly appreciate your support.